Ba- got me, got me a Starbucks. What is it? What's the name of it? It's it's a mixed it's a mixed cocktail. Try to sell it to me. It's the best thing you'll ever have. It's <laughs> delicious. <laughs> It'll be so cool, like all the TikTokers. Oh, hell. <laughs> and it. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then she said to eat chips while watching this because it, it's satisfying. A mukbang. Ba- mukbang. Mukbang. Mukbang? A mukbang. When you're eating and you're doing the video. <laughs> so you're doing two things you're eating and reacting to the video. That's awesome. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Come on, Bye. Bye, have fun. Bye. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week is gonna be a little bit different because I am actually doing a reaction video. My first ever reaction video. And if you're new to this channel, uh, my name is Mr. Reyes and I specialize in cover ups. And since I specialize in cover-ups, I obviously had to do a reaction video to this new show called Tattoo Redo on Netflix. And I had a couple comments on my video saying, you know, watch this new show. And usually my channel, it's mostly about me tattooing and giving out uh, tips and uh, just tutorials in general. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I'd be doing a tattoo and I explain my process and I explain how I'm doing it. Uh, so that's usually my content here, but since this is a little bit different, maybe it can turn into a different series, you know what I mean? Maybe reacting to other shows, but you never know. Like I said, this is my first one, so I don't know what to what to expect. So let's get to it, let's see. Hey there! What happens when the person you love has a tattoo you hate? You bring them here and we cover it up! You say, we got this ghost pepper drink. No one's ever had more than one. And then I look at my friend Danny and I say, hey, you drink 10 of these? I'll get Ghost Pepper Dan tattooed on my ass. Oh. That's it. Me looking at this tattoo on his butt cheek, I would say, I would have just told him, get a laser. I mean, you don't want to have a huge tattoo on his butt cheek. You got to double the size. I mean, the only thing that he can do here is rework it and add a little something on the side just to cover up the name. You know what I mean? Because it's, <laughs> it's already, it's already on his butt cheek, so the only thing that you can do is go bigger. And there's no way that you're gonna, just might as well get a whole back piece that connects to your butt cheeks. But if he didn't want to go bigger, I would've just said, get a laser. You know what the best part about all of it is? Well, let's hear it. Sydney gets to choose what your tattoo is. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, bad execution. That's supposed to be a glove? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, you know, really. Yeah, it should be a pretty easy one. I mean, as you can see, there's the blue, it's pretty much almost gone. The lines are faded. The fingers are pretty much gone. So it's nothing, nothing is uh, scarred in this tattoo, so it should be pretty easy. What don't you want it to be? Probably the most typical cover up is a rose. Oh. Ugh. Girl, these are typical <laughs> artists, let me tell you. Okay. That's <laughs> like thinking inside the box. Yeah. I Everyone who wants a cover-up automatically a rose and I feel like that's when it comes down to cover-ups a lot of people choose flowers and roses but you know honestly I feel like roses can get a little complicated because there's a lot of soft tones not enough texture and it can get a little complicated but I do feel like it's very common to use that concept to do a cover-up and I'm pretty sure they they probably are going to do a lot of flowers and roses in this show you never know. While we're on the subject, we've got one more mistake for Tommy Montoya. He does these Tommy super big tattoos. No. Usually they're black and gray and just really smooth. Like Tommy. I met Tommy Montoya before in an expo. He, super chill dude, friendly. He said, what's up to me? I was barely probably like a year and a half, maybe two years tattooing. And I was like, damn, that's Tommy Montoya, bro. That's crazy. But um, super chill, dude. 
I know his style is gray wash, black and gray. In order for him to cover up anything, he has to use true grays or color. And he doesn't do color. And I don't think he does true grace, so I'm, I'm curious to see how, what he's going to be doing. It's on the back of my <laughs> neck. Ready for it. Oh, so it, it says, on my signal, Ooh. unleash hell. Unleash hell. Bro, that's scarred. You can, it's glossy. It's, you, I bet if you run your finger through that tattoo, you're gonna feel every single line, 100%. Damn. What? Uh, I mean, um, I have a feeling he might go for a skull maybe, because his style is very dark. Uh, we'll see, let's see, I don't know. That's a tough one though. So this is my idea, here's a lotus flower, and she's like girly, you know, give her right, a flower. Right. And then I kind of went with a mandala, and then I figured I'd do it in <sighs> Alright. There is two ways this can go right now. Either on those, those petals on the bottom, he goes heavy black. That the petals on the top, they look like they're glowing. He has to add true grace in between the negative space on the mandala, because there's no other way, like there's no other way. But one thing I'm gonna say about this cover up is, I hope he avoids white. Because white is not gonna cover up those letters. And if he uses white, even after two weeks, you might be able to see the letters. But um, I, we'll see what happens, we'll see. Okay. All right, just give me Ready? a three. Ready, three, two, one. The biggest wow, thing off your butt that's a really good cover up. I mean, simple, simple, but it's solid. I mean, those dark greens, solid. When it heals, it's gonna look even better. It's simple, but it's dope. I like it. Super nice cover up. I deserve a deal on Taco you Tuesday after having this thing on my ass. <laughs> oh. Okay, on your call, you tell me when to lift this mirror. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, that's nice. Gone, dude. Where does oh, gone? that's beautiful. Yo. He used white all over the petals. In between the negative space of the mandala, white. You can, that's not even gray, that's just white. You can see the letters on the petals. He just went in with white. Oh. He did what he would do on a regular tattoo, which he doesn't work for cover-ups, you know? Ah, he's a, he's Tommy Montoya. He's a dope artist, but man, this is not it. Ah, I'm 100% that in within a couple weeks, she was able to see the letters. The number one rule in cover-ups, do not use white to cover up black because black will always overpower white. I gotta say, it's, it's not a great cover-up. Oh, okay, let's see. How do you feel about looking at it? I'm so ready. Are you ready? Yes, I'm so ready. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's tight. The blue was already faded, but adding purple to that, you don't even know that was a cover-up. That's the way it flows on the on her foot too. So nice. So nice. Oof. He's dope. Oh my god, the color and oh, everything. Oh yeah. And it's like a girl, but can you tell me what this is right here? Before I give my final thoughts about this show, I definitely want to just see another episode. I'm just going to skip to the end and see the the final tattoos because I didn't see a lot of complicated like cover-ups that were mostly pretty faded and pretty easy. The only one was Tommy Montoya's. And I definitely want to see if there was a uh, more challenging cover-ups. So I'm just going to skip to the end of this episode and, um, and give my final thoughts. Wow, dude. A job. Well, good job. I'm just telling him good job, but good job. <laughs> it is so pretty. Okay. It is not, I, this so is, like, I didn't expect the Roman numerals were right in the middle 
and basically she placed the stencil or the or the concept where she knew she could just black it out and that's dope it worked out it, this this style doesn't work all the time to do cover-ups because in this case she used a dagger to basically use it to her advantage and be able to cover up those those roman numerals because roman numerals can be complicated because they're so straight and you're gonna see right through it you know but it worked out you can't see it what do you think you want to look at this <laughs> absolutely mm. all right i'm excited let's unveil this masterpiece well that is awesome oh so much better than what was there for oh, sure God. and he has your same hairdo oh, oh, oh he's got, he got some dreads up there some shroom dreads oh, oh, nice. okay so he did it again. He used white to cover up black again. And same thing, though that ink is gonna go right through it. Even though the lettering is faded, you can uh, you can still see it as a fresh tattoo. So once this heals, you're gonna see the whole thing. Not not the whole entire tattoo, but you're gonna see parts of it all over the tattoo. And you can tell where he used it because it looks way different than the rest of the tattoo. It stands out like those, like the back behind the skull, white. Right on top of that uh, eye socket, white. You can see the line going through it. Uh, right behind the squares, right in between them, you can see the white. And because your eye is drawn to those little areas, because it looks way different. It's not, a, it's not one tone going across the whole entire thing. So your eye goes right to the areas that he used white and you can tell where he used it the lettering is pretty much faded i mean anything could have covered that up um it's just that you need those true grays to help you cover that up but because he's using gray wash it's not working out oh it's a triangle. Here we go. Don't was on your back before. <laughs> I cannot see your original. I don't tattoo. see it at all. No, Damn. Not, like you like, can't even see the darkness. Like there's, it's this totally is new a tattoo. crazy cover. You like it? Yeah. Simple, fashionable. He used red. Red is one of the colors that uh, that stand out on darker skin complexion. Um, and also red it's a good color to cover up black now if you were to use gray tones to cover up red it gets a little complicated because red is such a strong color that sometimes it can it can be like using black so you can't cover up red with white either so the fact that he used flowers and simple flowers with no texture to cover up that tribal that is nice 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 final thoughts i love the idea of the show the fact that they were able to think about the friend choosing or the uh, the person that they brought with them to choose a tattoo that's pretty cool and then not allowing them to see the process that's that's even better i gotta say that based on what i seen not every artist knows how to do cover-ups like tommy montoya he is a great artist but he doesn't specialize in cover-ups i do feel like matt uh matt he is a good artist and he knows how to do cover-ups 100 he's so confident he knows what colors to pack in and he knows what he's supposed to do for the cover-up to not reappear in, a, in, a, in the future but i do think that they should have artists who specialize in cover-ups that way they do more intricate tattoos and they're experienced enough to know what to, what to do in certain areas um so yeah i mean if you guys want to see me do more reaction videos drop a comment i can maybe do a reaction to ink master i'm pretty sure they have like a like a whole episode where they do cover-ups and if you have other shows that they do cover-ups drop a comment 
and I'll probably do a reaction video. Thank you guys for coming back and watching this brand new video. I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts about this show. And other than that, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Thank you.